Yes, what's up? This is Wazum Jones back again with another Raw review. Haven't done one in a while, but I felt like this Raw was actually worth reviewing. I thought it was actually a pretty good show. It was actually a pretty good three-hour show, so I didn't nod off on this one like I did the Raw Roulette show because the Raw Roulette show this this year was just terrible. It was garbage. It was it was it was a snooze fest. I'll put it to you like that. That show was not good, but this show was completely different, completely opposite of uh, the Raw Roulette last week. So yeah, I thought the match was all pretty decent, you no know, decent to good. The segments I thought were pretty much. I thought all the segments were actually pretty good. They furthered the storylines. Which is what pro wrestling shows should do, and they kept them going. They kept them going strong. I did like that, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the aftermath of these storylines. So the storylines kept basically kept me intrigued for the next three hours, and what they did basically to keep us intrigued for the next three hours, they kept promoting the Paul Heyman and the Miz segment because we all wanted to know why the hell Brock Lesnar did what he did and well they didn't really get to that matter of fact Brock Lesnar didn't say anything <laughs> he just basically destroyed you know he he destroyed everything he destroyed the Miz he destroyed the Miz you know his set pieces you know he he threw 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 the Miz out of the ring and then he picks up a chair one of the chairs and he just throws it at the Miz while he was lying on the ground <laughs> like he just threw it up with reckless abandonment like I'm I wonder was he supposed to have done that because you know he was just throwing chairs with reckless abandonment like literally just throwing chairs with, and, and couches too with reckless abandonment but you know the Miz get back up and then gets back in the ring but it didn't matter because it really didn't do a thing because Brock Lesnar smashes him again and he gives him the F5 and then he walks Right on out with Paul Heyman. So we didn't know why Brock Lesnar did what he did. They didn't say why, which is okay because guess what? That gives us another reason to watch Raw next week. That's what they should be doing, giving us another reason to watch Raw next week. So I like the next segment between Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, and The Miz. Pretty good segment. Now, one of the main things of tonight's Raw was they had a voting poll. For CM Punk, the fans get to vote for CM Punk's opponent. So you had to you had to choose between Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, and Chris Jericho. Now the voting poll things, I don't ever vote. I don't care about these things. The person who you normally think is going to win normally wins and gets picked. So Chris Jericho got picked, and I knew he was going to get picked. And one of the reasons why I don't ever really vote is because I sometimes wonder: Do we really get a choice? Of who's going to get picked? I mean, like, do we really get a choice of who's going to get picked? You know, I just wonder sometimes. But Chris Jericho did get picked. And CM Punk and Chris Jericho had a really good match. They had a great match. Matter of fact, the match is awesome. Hell, the fans were chanting awesome. So this was a really good match between these guys. And CM Punk wins cleanly. He wins clean. Didn't cheat. Didn't grab on the tights, didn't distract the referee, he didn't use Brad Maddox, he didn't use the shield. The man won by his damn self, he won fair and square. And I'm okay with that. Um, normally when someone someone say like, well, if you, if the other guy loses cleanly, you might say the other guy looks weak. But I wouldn't say that at all. Chris Jericho didn't look, he didn't look weak. It doesn't make him look weak, weak at all. He didn't lose any credibility. They, these two had a really good match and it was good. No, I'm going to. Really good match. I'm satisfied with it. So, yeah, you want to keep your heel looking strong. CM Punk is the number one heel in the WWE. Hell, the number one heel in the business, if you ask me, even though you didn't. But, yeah, he's the number one heel in the business. So, yeah, I'm 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 cool with him winning that way. So, you want to keep your heel, your number one guy, looking strong. We also had segments between... Big Show and Alberto Del Rio. You know, Big Show wasn't there in the arena. He had said he wasn't. He said he was in a hotel. Now, I already knew that Alberto Del Rio was going to come visiting the Big Show's hotel and was going to attack him. So, yeah, he did that. He did it later on through the night. I thought I actually thought he was going to do it earlier in the night. So, he did it in the last hour of Raw. He attacks him, but he didn't, you know, he didn't beat down the Big Show easily. He didn't beat him down easily. The Big Show still basically shut him down. 
But Alberto Del Rio eventually does the comeback. He uses a fire extinguisher to basically blind him in his eye. And then he hits him over the head with the fire extinguisher. And the Big Show was out. <laughs> like that. He was out. He his, his lights were out just like that. I actually thought it was a little funny when the people come through the uh, you know the elevator. And this one guy was looking like, what in the hell is going on? <laughs> basically. And, uh, you know, Alberto Del Rio going to tell those guys that, yeah, my friend's okay. You know, he just has some bad Mexican food. So, yeah, that's how that segment ends. So, these guys, I'm guessing their feud is going to end at the Elimination Chamber. I guess that makes sense for their feud to end at the Elimination Chamber. Hopefully it does. But that's how that segment ends. And I thought that was actually a pretty, you know, decent segment. It was a decent segment, nonetheless. Now. The other thing that they all basically had us waiting for is John Cena challenging the Shield. So, you thinking John Cena is going to come out there and challenging, no, challenge the Shield, but Brad Maddox is out there. He's out there and he decides that he is going to challenge the Shield. Now, what basically what Brad Maddox is trying to do, he's he's just basically a young kid trying to come up in this business, in the wrestling business, because, you know, that's his dream. So he figures he's going to be the hero. He said, yeah, John Cena's not going to be the hero here. I'm going to be the hero. So he challenged the Shield. The Shield comes out, and you already know they smashed him. They smashed him easy. They run right through him. They whipped his ass, and they threw him out of the ring. So once they did that, John Cena comes out, but he didn't come out in the interest way. No, he comes out through the crowd, just like the Shield, but he wasn't by himself. So, Ryback comes out next, and at the Ryback's music, then Sheamus comes out next. Now, when Sheamus is coming down these stairs through the crowd, I think that maybe a fan tried to attack him or something because there was somebody, so security, I believe, was covering somebody you know, on those stairs as Sheamus was coming down because he had to literally step over like two or three people for some reason. Like, I, I don't know what the hell it was. So maybe a, a fan was going crazy and was, you know, was out there, man, or something. It was something. But it's a good good thing that security was on that because last time with CM Punk, they wasn't on that. Like, security wasn't doing their job. Like, what the hell is security? But they was on it this time. So, these three guys come at the Shield, and, well, they beat them. The Shield got their ass whooped today. They didn't get, like, dominated. They didn't get, like, stumped into the ground or nothing like that. But, no, no, they got beat up, but, you know, and they left. <laughs> so they got beat up a little bit. They got, it, was, it was a little bit of a beat down. They clearly, you know, didn't win. It was a little bit of a beat down. And as a matter of fact, at first... These guys wasn't even trying to fight, you no know, John Cena and Ryback and Sheamus. No, they tried to walk up the entranceway, but the, the Raw locker room had came out and stopped them from going up you know, the Raw entranceway. So, yeah. So, the Shield, they didn't get beat down, but hell, we all waiting to see the Shield get what they have coming to them. So, they didn't, we didn't get there yet, and we shouldn't. We just got to wait and see next week. They're probably more like you go, ugh. They're probably more than likely is going to get what they have coming to them at a pay-per-view. So, we just got to wait and see. I'm cool with that. Raw was pretty good in my opinion. So, this is Warzone Jones. If you haven't done so, don't be afraid to click that subscribe button. You won't get a ticket if you click it. So, this is Warzone Jones. I'm out. Deuces.